Taylor's even performing live for the first time anywhere new music off her new album. So tell your friends, tell your family, shout it to the sky. Taylor Swift, Thursday, August 22nd on Good Morning America. Presented by Capital One. The world may feel out of your control, but your happiness doesn't have to be. Learn the secrets to happiness. Listen to the 10% Happier podcast, free on Apple Podcasts. St. Francis Healthcare System is creating something new and exciting. The St. Francis Kupuna Village in Liliha. The former hospital campus is being transformed into a health and wellness community for seniors and their caregivers. Featuring a skilled nursing facility and an array of physicians in different specialties. With future plans for assisted living and independent living and a senior community center. Call today for more information. St. Francis Healthcare System. Creating healthy communities for Hawaii's families. Hi, I'm Dr. Oz. It seems like there are endless options for sunscreens. Here's how to shop smart. Starting with SPF, go for a minimum of 30, which blocks 97% of the sun's harmful rays. And choose broad spectrum to guarantee protection against both UVA and UVB rays, both of which are linked to skin cancer. Try Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Sunscreen Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 50, a mineral sunscreen featuring pure screen, a 100% zinc oxide technology, hypoallergenic and water resistant. Hawaii small businesses work hard for their customers. Chocolea is a gourmet chocolate company in Manoa. They specialize in creating dark chocolate truffles and other treats. In the heart of Ia lies Sumita Farms. This family farm has existed since 1928 through determination and hard work. Aloha Dry Cleaners and Laundry has operated for over 20 years. With three locations, they are proud to service Oahu. As Small Business Lender of the Year, CPB supports local businesses and all they do for our economy. It's another way Central Pacific Bank is going beyond for you. Alaska Airlines offering the most nonstop flights between Hawaii and the West Coast. From KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Coming up on Good Morning Hawaii, as tensions continue over TMT project, backers are now trying a new approach to try and sell Hawaii on the telescope by pumping money into making their case on the airwaves. Meanwhile, as those demonstrations continue to block the road to Mauna Kea, hundreds of employees at other telescopes on the mountain are now heading back to work. And back on Oahu, students in Eva Beach stuck sweating it out their first week back in the classroom, why the state says some new AC units are taking so long to be installed for this new school year. Good morning, Hawaii. Thanks for joining us. Happy Saturday. I'm Tom George. And I'm Tasia Worley. We do start now with breaking news this morning. Accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein dies in his lower Manhattan jail cell. Air reporters say Epstein committed suicide by hanging himself. The FBI now investigating his death. The disgraced millionaire was awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges of underage girls. And he faced 45 years in prison if convicted. Now his death comes three weeks after he was found unresponsive in his cell and was on suicide watch since then. Well, federal subpoenas were issued to more employees working for the Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transportation, or HART. The newest request is for records and testimony. HART tells us it believes the federal government wants background information and does not think employees are targets of an investigation. The agency previously received subpoenas asking for information on delays and budget. And this week, Hart gave us a first look inside some of the rail stations that are under construction right now. Take a look. Three of the nine stops are almost complete, like the ones near University of Hawaii, West Oahu, Leeward Community College, and in Westlock. They expect the stop in West Oahu to become the busiest, so there will also be a large parking lot there. Companies are still putting in bids to build the remaining stretch of rail. <laughs> And a new 30-meter telescope commercial is hitting the airwaves in Hawaii. Some of you may have seen the 30-second spot right here on our station. It's a new approach to the tension over TMT. KITV4's Eliza Larson shows us how it features one of the master navigators of the Hokulea Voyaging Canoe. During commercial breaks here on KITV4 and other Hawaii TV stations, you'll hear this voice. Hello, I'm Kalepa by Bayan. And this message. As a native Hawaiian, I believe Mauna Kea is a deeply spiritual place. There is more than enough room for people to have their own practice, cultural practice, scientific research. We just need to have the collective will to share the Mauna. 
The commercial from the TMT International Observatory is to gain support for the controversial telescope project. Kalepa Baibayan is a respected navigator for Hawaiian voyaging canoe Hokulea. He supports the University of Hawaii's plan to place the 30-meter telescope on Mauna Kea, and he recently spoke on what's currently happening on the Big Island. I respect the right of protesters to peacefully, to protest peacefully, but not to break the law. Everybody, you need to learn how to share the Mauna. Mahalo. The commercial began airing during week four of demonstrations on Mauna Kea. The Kia'i, or protectors of the mountain, continued to block the access road to the summit, holding and sharing their positions via their own channels. They're in the position to have to pour a bunch of money into, you know, ads, just like during the lawsuits, they poured a bunch of money into lawyers, and we didn't have that kind of money, and we still don't have that kind of money, um, but we are, we're firm in our stand. Uh, we are confident that Kapoloha is winning. Citing lack of funds for commercial ads, members of the Kia'i say they'll continue to use their independent media team to document and broadcast their efforts on Mauna Kea. TMT would not reveal their budget or tell us who's paying for the ads. Eliza Larson, KITV4, Island News. TMT has also released a radio ad. And more than 500 employees of the 13 other telescopes that are on Mauna Kea are heading back to work. Now, because of those ongoing demonstrations, they've been out of work for about a month now. That's actually the longest work stoppage in the 50 years of astronomy at the summit. Now, despite the fact that demonstrators are still blocking the access road, workers have a new agreement with opponents of TMT. They'll be able to use a makeshift side road that's patched together by the state. On July 16th, Mauna Kea Observatory's temp temporarily ceased operations. Telescopes there were disabled and the staff were relocated to remote locations in Hilo and Waimea. I know morale's up again. Everybody that I've spoken to has said that it just feels surreal to be back um, working again. Now the first order of business technicians need to get the telescopes up and running again. Then they need to resume their scientific research. Governor David Ige released a statement saying, quote, the interim solution for access to the telescopes is a step forward but remains inadequate for the long term. The state remains committed to reopening the Mauna Kea Access Road intersection as an immediate priority. For information on how everything you need to know about the tension over TMT, check out our website, KITV.com. We have a dedicated section you can find under the News tab. Also follow us on social media and download our free app. All right, switching gears right now. Take a look outside right now. Look at that beautiful sunrise for your weekend forecast. Tasia tracking some hot temperatures, but hot is all relative, Tasia. I just got back from the Ninth Island. Now, that was hot. That was like 110, so well, hopefully it's, a little cooler than that. I guess you took the heat with you and brought it here because now we're seeing still high temperatures, but a little less than last week. 100 for Las Vegas. That's what we're expecting for that forecast high for today and cooler conditions toward the northwest. Now, yesterday for the islands of Hawaii, we did reach some records or tie some records on Maui in Kahului 95 degrees that was the record yesterday and on the island of Kauai in Lihue at 89 now for today beautiful sunrise we do have some cloud coverage that means some more moisture in the atmosphere that's bumping up our humidity levels just a bit expected to clear up throughout the day as our trade winds continue to fill in as well your forecast highs or your forecast highs is expected up to 90 degrees today right now 40 74 in Kahului. But as you can see, the forecast high is another hot day ahead. The good news is our trade winds are here, so we'll continue to see a lot of those showers for the Windward and Malka areas. We are also picking up on our Doppler radar a lot of activity for our Hawaii Island, especially for the east and southeast. So there has been a flood advisory that has been posted earlier this morning. It is posted until later this morning around 645, so we'll continue to track that. But our radar was picking up a rain rate of one inch per hour so a lot of wet conditions for our Hawaii Island definitely don't want to pass any roadways on foot or on your car that is heavily flooded winds right now we are seeing in the single digits expecting about 10 to 15 miles per hour for today so that means in the afternoon we could still have some afternoon clouds and showers for your leeward and interior spots but of course waking up this morning with those trade winds and that trade wind pattern we'll get those windward and Malka showers. Coming up, we'll take a look at the surf. And for now, Tom, we're gonna send it back to you. 
As long as it's not triple digits, we're good. Thanks, Tasia. And with those high temperatures continuing, it's also been tough for students and teachers to beat the heat at Eva Elementary School. Principal Ta Stan Tomashiro sent out a letter to parents about the hot conditions this week. Only two of the seven classrooms in their building have fully functioning air conditioning units. The Department of Education budgeted more than $2 million for AC, but releasing those funds to actually get them installed has been taking some time. So for now, students and staff have just had to sweat it out. Principal submit the request to the district supervisor and the complex supervisor takes it to the Department of Education. The department has to request from the governor for that money to be released. Until the Department of Education write to the governor, please release the money, there's really nothing I could do. Yeah, that is always frustrating when you don't have AC and the process could take up to six months. And on your crime watch, Honolulu police arrested one suspect in connection to a carjacking incident in Wahiwa. You're looking at a video shot by witnesses who saw multiple police cars along Kamehameha Highway. HPD says that they found the suspect hiding in grass Friday afternoon or in those grass, in that grass Friday afternoon. A female suspect is still on the loose and if you have any information, you can call Crime Stoppers. And HPD is also looking for three suspects accused of stealing a woman's car in Ho'ula last week. They released two photos of the female suspects and a sketch of the male suspect. Police say the man threatened to shoot the victim unless she gave them her car. No injuries were reported and anyone with information can call Crime Stoppers. And Honolulu police arrested a man in connection to a shooting at the Sheraton Waikiki Hotel this week. 54-year-old Abdulaziz Omar al farouk allegedly fired his gun at another man. That man was not injured. According to police, co-workers disarmed al farouk He was arrested on suspicion of second-degree attempted murder, terroristic threats, and several firearms violations. All right, well, time now, 6.09, and when we come back, we're throwing out some morning shakas to a boy on Maui. He's bringing awareness to homeless animals along with a special treat. And my kai, Google, how the company is working to preserve indigenous languages. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back. You know when you're at Ross and that cute dress gets even cuter? Yes! Or when you can say yes to both? Sure. Or when you find that brand at that price? Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's Yes for Less. And that's what Ross always has in store. Wow. Yes. Oh, yeah. It feels even better when you find it for less at Ross. Yes for Less. Mattress Firm's flashback sale ends Tuesday. We're celebrating the year we were founded with a special price from 1986. A flashback price of $169 on a new Sleepy's Queen mattress. Plus, this is your last chance to save up to $400 on throwback deals. And Wednesday through Sunday only, take home a free adjustable base. Up to a $699 value, absolutely free. But hurry in, because after Tuesday, the flashback sale is a thing of the past. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. Southern Turf Hawaii has you covered. Whether you're looking for sod to enhance a lawn or a golf course, the landscaping experts at Southern Turf Hawaii will help you choose the right variety of grass for your specific needs. For nearly 20 years, Southern Turf Hawaii has been supplying sod for residential, commercial, retail, and golf course applications. So you can trust Southern Turf to help you get it right. Southern Turf Hawaii, the Hawaii turf experts. Hello, I'm Kalepa Baibayan, an active participant in Avoiding Revival, and for the past 44 years I've been a crew member, a captain, a navigator on board Hawaii's iconic voyaging canoes. As a native Hawaiian, I believe Manaki is a deeply spiritual place. There is more than enough room for people to have their own practice, cultural practice, scientific research. We just need to have the collective will to share the Mauna. All right, welcome back. You know what that sound is. Time for some morning shakas this morning. And today, 
They're going out to a, sco a school superintendent in Georgia who's going above and beyond for his students' future. That's right. Grant Rivera, he is getting a $10,000 bonus. So he's giving up part of his paycheck to help his high school seniors go to college. Application fees alone can get expensive, so Rivera will use the money to pay for every senior's application fees who applies early. If the cost of applications exceeds $10,000, Rivera will pay for the rest with his own money. If there's money left over, he says it will go toward funding bus tours for students to visit in-state colleges. It's amazing. Yeah. And Google is featuring Ola Hello, Hawaii on its new interactive Google Earth Voyager feature showcasing indigenous languages. <laughs> Yeah, that feature allows users to explore the globe. You can click on indigenous languages in different regions. It's all part of a United Nations initiative that's aimed at increasing education about languages spoken by native people. Fifty-five languages are featured and include a traditional greeting, favorite sayings, or a meaningful song. Aloha. Aloha mai kako. Aloha is the universal Hawaiian greeting. Aloha mai kako means greetings to us all. And nearly 7,000 indigenous languages are spoken around the world. According to the UN, one in four of those languages are in danger of disappearing. So really cool that they're keeping that alive. I was just saying, as I was flying back, Hawaiian Airlines, they actually do the announcements in Hawaiian, so it's cool to actually learn as you go. That's right. My cut, you know, Google, it just it just makes me so proud. I actually started, you saw dancing a little kahiko at the desk. <laughs> yeah, you were into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, over on Maui, a special treat for canines at the Humane Society. That's right. Check this out. YouTube sensation and animal enthusiast Rocky Kanaka. He served up shave ice for staff and some of the homeless dogs. He posted videos to share the moment with his more than 1.2 million subscribers. Much of his YouTube page is about awareness of homeless animals. Definitely so gonna help with the heat. I know, it's so cute. They're just going to town on those uh, that shaved ice right there. Well, coming up, we'll have a full look at your weather forecast. El Nino has just ended and what that could mean for hurricane season. Yeah, and a little bit later in sports, high school football season well underway here in the 808. Brandy and Cody have some of the highlights from all the Friday night light action. Stay with us. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. Time now, 615. We'll be right back. Slumber World, your destination for the best selection in brand name beds to help you get the good night's sleep you deserve. It's the Everything Sleep Sale, happening now at Slumber World. At Slumber World, you'll find everything you need for the best sleep of your life. Brand name beds from Serta Eye Comfort, Beautyrest and Beautyrest Black, Tempur-Pedic, and more. Plus, get a free bed frame or $100 off accessories to enhance your sleep. Everything you need to get your best night's sleep is happening now. The Everything Sleep Sale at Slumber World, your locally owned mattress store, serving all of Hawaii. If your gums bleed when you brush, you may have gingivitis, and the clock could be ticking towards bad breath, receding gums, and possibly tooth loss. Help turn back the clock on gingivitis with Paradontax. Leave bleeding gums behind. Paradontax. How do you win over fans? We give them something they love, something no one else can, something they can't get enough of. And then you give them more. Hurry in to see why Ram has the most loyal half-ton pickup owners during the Ram Summer Clearance Event. Now get 20% off MSRP on select 2019 Ram 1500 Classic Models in dealer stock. Relax, it's just a bug. Ah, that's not a bug! That's not a bug! Hit and drone. Seen it? Covered it. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. BIA Hawaii's big summer home building and remodeling show at the Blaisdell, August 9th through 11th. Hawaii's most trusted contractors and designers are ready to help you with your next home project, whether you're building new or remodeling. Hundreds of exhibits and seminars that will inspire and inform. Senior admission Sunday is just $2 with valid ID, and a three-day pass offers great savings at just $10. The Big Summer Home Building and Remodeling Show, August 9th through 11th. More information at BIAHawaii.org. 
time now, 6-17, and again, as I mentioned, El Nino has ended, so that means we're transitioning to a more neutral status with the eastern, uh, eastern Pacific waters that have cooled down just a bit. That means possibly more wind shear, which could mean less tropical cyclones closer to the state. But again, keep in mind that water temperatures, especially near the islands, are above average, so we could still see the same amount of cyclones making its way toward Hawaii this hurricane season. But again, with El Nino ending, the wind shear will help break that apart as it does approach closer. Water's right now at 83 degrees, just on that brink of the eastern and central Pacific. You need 80 degree water temperatures to fuel the system. So of course, as you can see, a lot of fuel there. So we're still in the red, definitely approaching those busy or the peak months of hurricane season. So you wanna get prepared, stay prepared. Even closer, just below Mexico, as you can see, temperatures at 86. And right now, this morning, there are three systems that we're continuing to track, which does have chance of cyclone transformation within the next 48 hours. So we'll continue to follow that. Now in the Northwest Pacific, here's our Hawaiian Islands. As you can see, Northwest Pacific, those two typhoons that we're continuing to track, so powerful that a lot of that energy is gonna make its way toward Hawaii and raise our west facing shores sometime by Monday through Friday. So it's a bit delayed, but as you can see, just how much energy is coming our way. Today, west facing shores two to four, three to five for the south. That will continue into this Saturday and Sunday. Calmer conditions for the east and the north. We've got low tide just now at 0.07. Your next low tide later this evening around 9 o'clock. High tide still over 2 feet. So definitely want to keep your eyes on your keiki on the beach this morning or throughout the day. That's going to happen around 1.30 in the afternoon. Our Doppler radar picking up just some very scattered showers around the vicinity, raising humidity levels just a bit. Then lots of sunshine for Kauai pulling on through. Oahu just for those Malka areas and then some partly cloudy conditions for the Malka spots. Very sunny for Kahului. Again, we're expecting 92 degrees around 2 o'clock. Hawaii Island still very wet for the east and southeast. A flash flood advisory is in place until 645. We'll keep an eye on that this afternoon. More so some cloud coverage for Kailua Kona. We'll be right back after this on Good Morning Hawaii. Broadway in Hawaii welcomes Phantom of the Opera to Honolulu. Tickets on sale now. See the phenomenal new production of the world's greatest love story, The Phantom of the Opera. Experience this haunting love story now at the Blaisdell Center through September 1st. Tickets at broadwayandhawaii.com. Personal injury is what we do. We're going to take care of everything. Our promise to you is that we'll be in the recovery with you. You know when you're at Ross shopping for backpacks and mom also gets a back to school bag? That's Yes for Less. Ross has the brands you want for back to school and it feels even better when you find them for less. At Ross, Yes for Less. When do my credit card points expire? How many miles do I have? When are the blackout dates again? Do we get 1% or 2% on groceries? Stop wondering. Get the new 2% unlimited cashback card. That's 2% on purchases everywhere, every time. From American Savings Bank. Real life, real answers. You know when you're at Ross and you score the perfect outfit? Game on. Now that's yes for less. Nothing beats getting the latest trends at 20 to 60% off specialty store prices. At Ross, yes for less. So, you're ready to buy a new car. You know what you want, but not where to get it. You could start by going here, then here, and even here. But by then, the entire day's nearly gone. Or you can save time and go straight to Hawaii's Auto Mall in Waipio and compare hundreds of vehicles in one location. Think of all the time you'll save. Time you can spend enjoying your new car rather than shopping for it. Get your next car at the Tony Group Autoplex Waipio and experience the difference. Catch Island Sports with Brad Higa weeknights at 6 and 10 on KITV4 in Hawaii. ILH versus OIA. Buckle up, folks. Interleague play is back in Hawaii High School football. Good morning. I'm Brandy Higa. We kick off the Blitz from Friday night with a clash at Skipa Diaz Stadium. And joining me now is KITV4 Island Sports reporter Cody Krupp. 
Cody Bonoho at Farrington. Solid matchup for week two of the year. Yeah, it's a solid matchup, but a tough task for these governors. They haven't beat the Buffalo Blues since 1969, and Puno coming off a 40 nothing beatdown of Kailua in week one, while Farrington were missing 20 players as they struggled in a 35 nothing loss to Lelehua. And the Buff and Blue wasted no time to show what they do. Check out Noah Eldridge, a little shimmy shake, and the senior wide receiver made sure the governors were awake. And Hugh Brady with a hand up to Vincent Terrell. Took the opening kickoff last week to the house, 95 yards with a Buff and Blue. Yeah, Brandy, that's what you call an athlete. He also caught a touchdown last week, and this week would score twice more, both on the ground, as Puno ran away from Farrington, 31 0 in the final. Time to throw. Why am I hosting Kapolei? Flossie Flossie and Eric may be gone, but Hurricane QB, Noah Bailey, made some noise early. Yeah, how about that 10 yard scoring hookup with Blue and White? But the Sea Riders responded. These two connected to week one and a week two encore. Shane McLeod to Sage Ayala, dragging the Sea Riders for a 7 7 ball game. Yeah, but we didn't see the end of Bula and Bailey. Still first quarter, 55 yards through the air to make it 14 7. Hurricanes Bailey, three TV tosses last night. And just enough for Kapolei to hold on and BY and I 28 to 20. They're now 2 0 on this young season. Campbell hosting Milliwani, a rematch of the state semifinals from a year ago. And the Sabres defense put last year in the rear view, stuffed the Trojans on the goal line right there. That's a defense led by former Rainbow Warrior linebacker Blaze Soares. And these boys came in with blazing fire. Welcome to varsity blessing Alu Alu Tui Ole Motu, freshman with the pick right there. Yeah, and you mentioned Rainbow Warriors. Here's a future one, Titus Ati Malala, 47 yards from Blaine Hippa, deep into Trojan territory. Don't fix it if it ain't broken, Ati Malala, two. TD catches. Mililani holds on to win a thriller, 30-26. Now let's take a drive to the Windward side. Waipahu visiting Castle, Cotton Candy Clouds, and a sweet play to get the scoring started. Yeah, but it was the color red you saw first oh, as no. they drew blood, a little screen pass. Cody Marquez to Solafea Seto, and well, he would do the rest. You know what happens next. A 70 yard touchdown. Yeah, not a bad way to start, but the Castle defense stiffen up like knights in shining armor. Javen Kane strip and scoop. Yeah, so Brandy, they actually hold Waipahu to just 13 points in the first half. Here was the other six by Seto. Well, it turned on the afterburners in the second half as they ran away for a 49-28 victory. So how about the early game at Farrington? Kaimu Key in Pack 5 as Sione Taufa of the Bulldogs got to chase at Donnie, the wrap and the sack. Hey, Donnie taken down twice in that first quarter. Tasi Komiti got to the Wolfpack quarterback as well. Yeah, we didn't score, see a score in this game until the second quarter. Jaden Maiava last year played his high school ball in the Sin City, and Kaimu Key sure glad he's out Bulldog. He had a rushing score, also threw three TDs. Bulldogs beat Pack 5, 34-12. McKinley at Roosevelt, who have not lost to the Tigers, minus one year of a forfeit in eight straight games, and Konecki Guzman did his part to try to make it nine straight. Rough riders rough. looking rough and tough on defense as well. Kaisen Aponte Stone coming on Keanu Pimentel like Stone Cold Killer. Yeah, this Rough Rider squad, they had 12 wins last season at OA Championship, and looking real good again in 2019. That was Sky Ogata to chase Akana. Akana looking real comfortable in red and white. 42-6 Roosevelt last night's final. And eight games all together last night for scores from all your prep football action. Head to the sports section of our website, KITV.com. And Cody, week two, not Paul yet. Some great matchups on tap later today. Yeah, that's right, Brandy. We got eight games all together throughout the state. We're going to have the coverage, 6 and 10, KITV4 Island News. Hoping for more tough fought football games like we saw Friday night. But until then, mahalo for watching. I'll let the captain sail us to the end. Cody, thanks. And in the college ranks, the University of Hawaii once again held a rally in downtown Honolulu to get fans excited for the 2019-2020 sports seasons. Rainbow Wahine Volleyball starts practice this morning. The UH football team opens against Arizona in just 14 days. For those that do show up for that season opener, what can they expect? A great crowd at Aloha Stadium and a team that's going to play, play their hearts out, and they'll represent the state well. We're excited. Um, we work hard every day. We're getting into like, the thicker part of camp, so we're just eager, you know, uh, licking our chops, we're ready to go. I remember the first year I just came down to the corner over.
over there and try to drum up support and look where it's come to and our athletic department's really taken hold of it and I think the community down here has. Also announced yesterday, complete schedule for this year's UH men's basketball team. To hear from Rainbow Warriors head coach, Aron Ganat, head to the sports section of our website, KITV.com. To volleyball. Good. What a superb recovery there by Eric Shoji. Superb recovery by Eric Shoji. Take a look again. The Punahou product libero for Team USA. Yeah, they don't go on to win this point. Went on to win the match. Americans down Belgium yesterday through four sets. Kamehameha's Micah Christensen starting setter. Kill in set one. This was the first of three matches towards Olympic qualifications in the Netherlands this week. That was a one-handed set by Christensen. Makes it look easy. Next for Team USA, South Korea later today. And that's a look at your morning sports. I'm Brandi Higa. Mattress Firm's flashback sale ends Tuesday. Save up to $400 on throwback deals. And Wednesday through Sunday only, take home a free adjustable base. Up to a $6.99 value, absolutely free. Hurry in, your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. I do like working here in Arcadia. Arcadia take care of the residents well and also the employees. I love communication with my boss. She get to support me. Especially here because there's a positive surrounding energy. It makes it really, really comfortable to come to work. I feel great because I'm able to share my knowledge. Uh, what really makes it special is just the camaraderie and the people that you work with. And not to mention, it's just a fantastic workplace. Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Through all of life's milestones, we're here for you, for life. Hey. <sighs> really? Hi, guys. We like the gray. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Rogue and Altima. Hurry in for Model Year End Savings on our full line. Now, save up to 1500 on the 2019 Nissan Kicks. Mattress Firm's flashback sale ends Tuesday. We're celebrating the year we were founded with a special price from 1986. A flashback price of $169 on a new Sleepy's Queen mattress. Plus, save up to $400 on throwback deals. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. From KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Right now on Good Morning Hawaii, a bit tipsy while flying high. Passenger video shows a flight attendant allegedly drunk, now under fire. Plus, back to work on Mount Kea, hundreds of staffers and other telescopes on the mountain being blocked by demonstrations, now heading back to the job after more than a month. And overnight, Democratic presidential hopefuls focus on gun control while criticizing the commander in chief. Hear what the president had to say. Welcome back. We do begin this half hour with breaking news, though, this morning. Accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein dies in his lower Manhattan jail cell. Reports say Epstein committed suicide by hanging himself. The FBI is now investigating his death. The disgraced millionaire was awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges of minor girls he and faced 45 years in prison if convicted. His death comes three weeks after he was found unresponsive in his cell and was on suicide watch. And in the wake of back-to-back -back deadly mass shootings, gun control now a key focus out on the campaign trail. Democratic hopefuls at a dinner in Iowa overnight criticizing President Trump and calling for change. ABC's Mary Bruce is in Des Moines at the Iowa State Fair with what the candidates are saying and how the president is fighting back. Overnight, the 2020 Democratic candidates doing a round of political speed dating with Iowa voters. making their pitches to a packed room. We will not defeat Trump unless we have the courage 
to take on the powerful corporate interests. And taking on President Trump. There is no national security when we don't have racial justice, let alone when we have a president who is coddling white nationalists. One after another, the candidates sounding off against President Trump's rhetoric. You know, Donald Trump offers no moral leadership. So let's call this what it is. This is white nationalism. This is white supremacy. So we're not going to buy what he's trying to sell. Because we know dude got to go. Dude got to go. After the horrific shootings in Dayton and El Paso, the candidates are promising change. We need Americans that will stand up with faith in our country, faith in our ideals, faith in each other, and come together again and stand together and work together and love together and overcome his darkness with our light. And they are demanding action. And we need gun reform in the United States of America, and we need it now. People are dying on the streets of this country, getting killed by weapons that were made for battlefields. Back in Washington, under growing pressure, the president is now publicly calling for stricter background checks. There's been no president that feels more strongly about the Second Amendment than I do. However, we need meaningful background checks so that sick people don't get guns. Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard also made an appearance in Iowa Friday for the state fair. She also scheduled to attend a town hall today, but Friday Gabbard took some time to talk about health care. How is it possible that in this country that we spend far more as a country on health care, yet we have far worse outcomes? It's unacceptable. This is why I support passing Medicare for all legislation that will make sure that every single American is able to get the care that we need in this country. Private Gabbard also called for ending route, marijuana prohibition and to make pharmaceutical corporations accountable in contributing to the opioid crisis. And in El Paso, Texas, a florist is helping the community honor those who were killed and injured in a Walmart shooting a week ago today. They're offering free pre-made bouquets to take to memorials and vigils. The shop says they just wanted to help provide a little comfort in a time of tragedy. We're wanting to give back and we know that flowers bring comfort and that's what we do. So it's really important to us to be able to do that for people and to make sure that flowers can give that tribute. Now Debbie's Bloomers was able to offer those bouquets thanks to the help of multiple organizations. Good to see that. And around the nation, take a look at this scary scene. A train plows through a car in Chicago Friday. Highway Patrol is investigating how it happened. Two people inside the car managed to escape before the freight train hit the car. And listen to this. The driver jumps to safety as his RV plunges over a 300-foot cliff in Arizona. Take a look. It happened Friday afternoon north of Black Canyon City. The driver was not injured, but that wreckage caught fire. Officials say it started a brush fire at the bottom of that cliff, but luckily it didn't spread. And in Philadelphia, police are looking for two suspects responsible for an explosion at a gas station last month. Investigators say one suspect held the door while the other threw an explosive device into the store. Scary scene there. This is surveillance video showing the blast and resulting fire. And according to police, it all started with a dispute over whether a drink had been paid for. The convenience store owner says the suspects had threatened on multiple occasions to burn his store down. And new this morning, a flight attendant is under fire for allegedly being drunk during her shift. One passenger abroad the Chicago South Bend, Indiana flight took this video of flight attendant Julianne March. The passenger said March didn't finish making the security announcement and took a long time to pick up the internal phone when pilots called for the cabin secure message. They also said that, they, that she appeared to either pass out or fall asleep during the 25 minute flight and that he and a female passenger helped buckle her seatbelt. According to court documents, March was detained August 2nd after the United flight landed and charged with public intoxication.
Yeah, can't do that. <laughs> and around the world, thousands of Hong Kong protesters continue their sit-in at the international airport for the second day in a row. Protesters began filling up the hall from early Saturday morning with those numbers growing throughout the afternoon. Participants in that sit-in are handing out pamphlets to passengers arriving into Hong Kong, setting out their list of demands for the government, including the removal of the extradition bill and dropping criminal charges against protesters who are now facing prosecution. This is the 10th weekend of protest action in Hong Kong. The three-day sit-in will continue until Sunday. And taking things back here at home, a live look outside as the sun comes up on your Saturday, turning now to your weekend weather. Tasia's got the latest for you. It's been a little hot. Is, how's that going to stick around? A little hot. It's been crazy hot. 6.37 time now on this Aloha Saturday. Again, yesterday we did tie a record heat for Lihue and in Kahului. So once again, we'll expect some warmer conditions. 92 is expected high for the west side. East side coming in 88 for Lihue. Now we did have a surface trough that was interrupting our weather pattern just a bit for Kauai. That was the reason why all week long, higher humidity levels and a lot of cloud coverage creating some pretty warm conditions. Today, improving conditions and some relief as those trade winds fill in from the east. It's still quite light, 5 to 15 miles per hour, so that means some afternoon clouds and showers will be focused again later on in the afternoon, but those because of our winds are lighter. That will pick up more so by your next work week. Temperature highs are expected up to 90 for the leeward side, windward areas at 85. Maui County a bit breezier throughout the day with east-northeasterly winds, just starting with off some windward morning showers and quickly passing by. Hawaii Island, that's where a lot of that moisture is favoring, especially for the east and southeast. So we do have that flood advisory in effect as of right now. Then partly cloudy throughout the day with pockets of sunshine again closer to the afternoon. Mostly sunny for Kailua Kona with afternoon clouds. And then we'll see that temperature up to 86 for today. So if you want to escape the heat, surf forecast is looking calm for the east and north under three feet. A bit of a fun bump for the south, three to five, two to four for the west. Again, high tide around 130 today, over two feet. Today's forecast, as you can see, trade showers for windward and milk areas, partly to mostly sunny skies with light trade winds under 15 miles per hour. And then light afternoon clouds and a passing shower or two for your leeward and interior your sections. Tom to you. Employees at the 13 telescopes that are on Mauna Kea right now are heading back to work after the longest stop in the history of Mauna Kea astronomy after a month-long hiatus because of demonstrations against TMT construction. It's time to resume normal operations now. KATV4's Monica Ala Navarro reports many are eager to return to the mountain. As demonstrations continue at the base of Mauna Kea, activity atop the summit has been non-existent. For the past four weeks, observatories on Mauna Kea were left empty. The longest telescopes have been simultaneously disabled since astronomy research began on the mountain. I know morale's up again. Everybody that I've spoken to has said that it just feels surreal to be back um, working again. Technical staff will return to the summit first to get telescopes back up and running. And if you want to think of it, we kind of put our telescope into sleep mode. And by doing that, most of our systems have been offline. So we have to go through our shutter, go through our windscreen, just move it through all the gyrations, make sure there's no leaks, that all the pressures are good, temperatures are right. Mauna Kea Observatory says it hopes to resume scientific research as soon as possible. On July 16th, observatory directors opted to temporarily seize operations on the summit. The decision to resume comes after the state says it addressed concerns to ensure staff can consistently access the summit. Demonstrators continue to block the main road leading up to the mountain, but agreed to allow observatory staff to use a makeshift road state crews patched together alongside the protector's base camp. Today, Kia'i sent this message in response to operations resume. To all of those astronomers, all of those technicians, all of the Halipuhaku workers, they have come here and they've always been accepted and welcomed with Kapu Aloha and we will continue in that manner as we move forward. Moani K. Ella Navarro, KITV4 Island News. Tawani and Governor David Ige releasing this statement saying, quote, the interim solution for access to the telescopes is a step forward but remains inadequate for the long term. The state remains committed to reopening the Mauna Kea Access Road intersection as an immediate priority. 
Now, for information on everything you need to know about the tension over TMT, you can find it all at our website at KITV.com. We have a dedicated section where you can find that under the News tab. And, of course, also follow us on social media and download our free app. Federal subpoenas were issued to more employees working for the Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transportation, or HART. The newest request is for records and testimony. HART tells us it believes the federal government wants background information and does not think employees are targets of an investigation. The agency previously received subpoenas asking for information on delays and budget. Yeah, and we have heard a lot about Hart and when it might be finished. Well, Hart says Oahu's costly rail project is now about 55% complete. Now, on the west side, the stations there are nearly done. And for the first time, KTV4's Mackenzie Stasco getting an inside look at what those rail stations will look like. Take a look. We got an inside look at three of the nine rail stations under construction. This is the one near UH West Oahu. Hart says it's 92% complete with a massive parking lot and is expected to be one of the busiest stations. Every station has a similar style and the same safety features like these platform screen gates. When the train comes in, uh, both sets of doors open simultaneously. And what's great about this from a safety standpoint is it really prevents people from falling onto the track or otherwise uh, ending up in the, in the way of the train. All staircases have grooves for bikes, and only the west side stations will have canopies to block the blazing sun. And each station will be tailored with unique carvings in the beams depicting the Ahu Pua'a, or small land division, it's in. What they aim to do is to tell the story of each place, you know, where the station is located, what's unique about this location. So some forgotten stories uh, will be told through artwork. The stations near Leeward Community College and Westlock in Waipahu don't have parking lots. It'll be drop-off only. Construction near LCC is 87% done. But of all nine rail stations, Hart says Westlock is the furthest along at 93% finished. We're rapidly completing uh, all the work out here in the west. Uh, the guideways are complete. Our rail center is complete. Construction here at the Westlock station in Waipahu is almost complete. And by the end of 2020, Hart expects to have limited passenger service at all nine rail stations. Everybody now feels the momentum uh, building, and uh, it, we're all aiming for the same goal of uh, putting passengers on the system next year. As for the remaining stretch of the rail project, Robin says several companies are in the process of putting together bids. He expects to have their proposals by the end of this year. Mackenzie Stasco, KITV4 Island News. And nearly $200,000 are going toward upgrades at 911 call centers in Hawaii. The funding is part of a $109 million grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation and Commerce. The money will help call centers in 34 states. These grants are critical in helping first responders provide aid quickly and responsibly, which helps save lives. And turning now to Maui, two of the island's native birds are declining at an alarming rate. That's according to the Maui Forest Bird Recovery Project. The Kiwi Q, also known as the Maui Parrot Bill, and... A kohe kohe, Maui's crested honey creeper, got it. <laughs> got it, have declined by at least 50% in the last 20 to 30 years. The birds are endemic to Maui, and researchers blame avian malaria as one of the reasons for the decline. And the puppy found burned and buried in the sand of Oahu's west side last month is looking happy and healthy. Take a look at this new video sent from her foster family. Are you so cute? Good morning. She looks so Oh, so cute. Leia Loha was rescued by Paws of Hawaii. When she was first found, she was missing nearly all her fur. I don't want to cry. As you can see, it's almost completely grown back. And if you want to meet Leia Loha yourself, she will be at the grand opening of Aloha Affordable Veterinary Services in Aia today. That's from 9.30 to 10.30 in the morning. I feel like she's going to get a lot of fans visiting her. I mean, I mean, just seeing how she was when they found her, just like a little bit of love, and now right. she's all, all happy. She needs to get an Instagram. Yeah, right? 
I, at least her Instagram will go viral. Yeah, yeah I, I, feel, I see that happening. <laughs> All right, well, coming up, it's a place that holds a lot of memories. But now the future of Pully Lanes is up in the air as they consider options to keep the bowling spot open. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Catch up on today's top headlines with KITV4's Brenton Awad, 5, 6, and 10. We know it takes money to go to college. Most people think a huge amount of money. But it can cost a lot less than you think. Did you know tuition at a four-year UH campus can start at under $8,000 a year? And tuition for a community college is only about $3,500 a year. Plus in Hawaii, over $70 million in scholarships and grants are awarded to help students go to college. So maybe you should invest in yourself. Go to college is within reach Hawaii.com. You know when you're at Ross and you score the perfect outfit? Game on! Now that's yes for less. Nothing beats getting the latest trends at 20 to 60% off specialty store prices. At Ross, yes for less. If you use hearing aids or have difficulty hearing, try the new Micro CIC with advanced smart technology. Hear more naturally with less background noise. Adjusts automatically to your listening environment. Custom designed to be small, comfortable, and fitted for your hearing needs. Hi, I'm Howard Tamashiro. Call us at Hearing Center of Hawaii so we can help to better your hearing. Hearing Center of Hawaii. Conveniently located in Honolulu and Pearl Ridge. You know when you're at Ross and realize you can get everything you need? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes. To feel like a boss. That's yes for less. 20 to 60% off specialty store prices for every room and every budget at Ross. Yes for less. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event. That means more euphoric feelings that come from getting a great deal on a Honda CRV or HRV. Or from getting a pilot or passport. All part of 2019's best SUV brand. Hurry in today and experience the joy for yourself. Get a new Honda Passport, named best in class by car and driver at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. Catch Island Sports with Cody Cruff. Weekends on KITV4. Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 649. Well, the future of Poly Lanes, developer Alexander and Baldwin announcing a change of plans for the bowling alley. They now want to preserve it. KTV4's Nicole Tam reports, but one of the owners is not happy. Poly Lanes opened in Kailua in 1961. Over the years, the 24 lanes hold memories for many. I've been in the bowling business for uh, 48 years, and I look forward to see people smiling, kids enjoying just rolling the ball. The bowling alley was at risk of being torn down when landowner Alexander and Baldwin proposed using the land to develop other community spaces. But after facing years of community outcry, A and B now say it's considering all options. We are very committed to listening to the community, um, understanding their interests and their needs. They really want to preserve the character of their community. Uh, many people also want to see bone remain. Arthur Mershado owns and manages the alley. He says one of his concerns is a lack of clarity on what happens after the lease is up next January. He says he needs a longer lease because repairs and maintenance at the facility take time and money. It seems that people in business really forget that the community makes a lot of difference. A and B claims it offered to continue the lease as they tried to figure out what to do with the facility. It also has to assess the economic sustainability of the business, but also consider the history of how other bowling businesses struggled in Hawaii. We have to be responsible and make sure we've considered all of the available possibilities. So that's why we're going to be reaching out to other potential bowling operators to, you know, see what options are available. For now, both sides are back on the bargaining table to discuss the future of this historic neighborhood business. Nicole Tam, KITV4 Island News. Yeah, bowl, uh, bowling's always fun. And I saw that kid bowl a strike. He just uh, slickly was like, yeah, I did it. You know, so uh, it's a lot of good memories for a lot of people growing up. That's for right. sure. I'm a master at that if the boundaries are up. 
Oh, you know, the, the little bumpers? <laughs> yes. That's, that's cheating. That's not the same it's thing. It's not. But it's, a, it's assistance. Yeah, exactly. Well, it, you know, if it, if it gets any hotter outside, you might want to go into the AC to go bowling. That's right, because today's temperature highs, we're seeing about 86 to 91. So definitely want to maybe do some indoor activities or go to the beach. Taking a look at our Doppler radar right now. Just a heads up for our Hawaii Island. We are seeing a lot of activity there, a lot of cloud coverage, high clouds, and a lot of low clouds rolling in with packing a lot of moisture. That flood advisory is it still in effect it did say till 645 but it looks like it will be extending of course our radar was picking up a one inch of rain per hour picking up from the south to out the east point so that's going to be quite unstable throughout the day higher humidity levels as well afternoon clouds for the leeward slopes the rest of the state is on an improving trend we are seeing our trade winds return and we're continuing to also see a lot of trade showers this morning focused on your windward and malka areas so we'll continue to track that and just see it actually improve throughout the weekend and develop and strengthen even more so by your next work week. So that means more trade showers for the windward and mountain spots for your morning and evening time. Winds right now five in Lihue as well as Honolulu and seven for the night city. Today's winds would be 10 to 15 miles per hour. Taking a look at that forecast, that time stamp and your island, it's going to consistently stay there but also develop throughout your next work week. Our surf is also looking good and not much to cause any choppy conditions, but one to three for the east. North is coming in flat to two. Our west facing shores two to four and south three to five. That energy will last into the weekend and then come Monday through Friday. Those two powerful typhoons that we're tracking in the northwest Pacific, that's going to give us that south southwesterly swell all the way for your next work week. We are in low tide at the moment. Next low tide is around nine o'clock this evening. High tide around 1.30 and taking a look at that, it's over two feet. Definitely want to be safe out on the shore. Definitely keep your eyes close to your keiki. Now, your extended forecast, we're seeing those trade winds last, some cloud coverage again, more so for those windward and Malka areas. But for today and tomorrow, with those lighter trades, we will see some afternoon clouds and showers again for leeward and central spots. Daytime highs will remain 86 to 91. Tonight's lows is 72 to 74. We'll see you right after the break, right here on Good Morning Hawaii. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Poncho's Solar Service to harness the sun, Poncho's number one. Did you know that HECO's rates are continuing to go up? Did you know that federal tax credit for solar is going down soon? Did you know that Ponchos can build you an outback off-the-grid system with average savings between $100 to $400? Larger systems are available. Did you know that Ponchos can build you a customized battery system for your home that can fit your needs and your budget? Did you know that you can start small and expand? Now you know. Poncho Solar, locally owned and trusted statewide. Managing type 2 diabetes? Audrey's on it. Eating right? On it. Staying active? On it. Audrey thinks she's doing all she can to manage her type 2 diabetes and heart disease. But is her treatment doing enough to lower her heart risk? Maybe not. Jardians is the number one prescribed pill in its class. Jardians can reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults who also have known heart disease. That means Jardians can help save your life from a heart attack or stroke. Plus, Jardians lowers A1C, and it can help you lose some weight. Jardians can cause serious side effects, including dehydration, genital yeast or urinary tract infections, and sudden kidney problems. Ketoacidosis is a serious side effect that may be fatal. A rare but life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this bacterial infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. Do not take Jardians if you are on dialysis or have severe kidney problems. Taking Jardians with a sulfonylurea or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Lower A1C and lower I risk of a fatal heart attack? On it with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians, the type 2 diabetes pill that's on it. Learn more at Jardians.com. Summer's not stopping or slowing down. Hurry into the Acura Summer Performance Event going on now. It's the 2019 TLX for $2.99 a month for well-qualified customers. Visit your local Acura dealer today. Accurate weather forecasts with meteorologist Pete Caggiano on KITV4 Island News. Good morning, Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 655. Well, if you're looking to snag some bargains, you might have some luck today. That's because it's National Garage Sale Day. 
You can also celebrate by setting up your own sale. Here's a few tips so you can bring in the cash, though. Advertise with the signs or in your local paper to drive sales. Keep things organized. Have some small bills on hand. Mark prices clearly, but be willing to negotiate. People still look in the newspaper for garage sales? I guess. <laughs> I just see do. the signs and I'm like, mm, Yeah, I just yeah, drive by, I just drive, drive by. Way. Yeah, I was in Waikiki one time and they had like a whole, right on Alawai, there was like a big one. <laughs> yeah. Well, a local company is one of the world's biggest users of wood that's sometimes hard to get and it's not cheap. It's Hawaiian koa wood. That's right. Martin and MacArthur, or M&M, has been around for 58 years. And KTV4's Robert Kikaula shows us everything that comes out of its warehouse is made in Hawaii. M&M was founded by John Martin in 1961. Back in the 1960s, coal was not highly regarded, and it was a cheap wood that was actually made for fence posts. Then he brought on business partner Douglas MacArthur. The owner today is Michael Tent. I'm not a Martin or a MacArthur. <laughs> Bought it 11 years ago, but kept the iconic name. After a career of mostly marketing on the continent, Tam went home to where his father grew up. They live literally right across the street from where our furniture workshop is now. That house isn't there, so you might say that it was something seen in the future that I would somehow be connected with Kahai Street again, where, where Martin MacArthur is. Some things changed over the years, like 15 retail stores, online sales, and more than 100 employees. We're making everything from wood boxes and bowls um, and glass and ceramics now. And other things stay the same. Elegant.